The problem that I have is that I need to get a certain amount of work done in my head in order to shift gears and go over here and be creative. And that slows me down and that annoys me. Um, I, I constantly try different things, uh, different tactics. And um, I'm struggling, I'm struggling. I, um, <laughs> this is uh, one of my idea journals, this, this duck journal I've had since uh, 2007. I just dot, uh, jot down the most random stuff is put into this journal. Uh, carried this with me all week. Also uh, carried uh, deck the toilet with me all week, hoping maybe I'd be inspired or have a little extra time on the side of the road and update things in here. I did update it this morning, Cecil, expect this later tonight. Um, but yeah, this past week, no, no, it didn't, didn't work for me. That's why the other day, um, yeah, who was that person? She was talking about Peak Mind, her book, and uh, it was Focus, Notice, Redirect. It's meditation, 12 minutes a day really thinking that might that might help me be able to completely shift out of this thinking about work too much thinking about work way too much and I got to enjoy the now um, hey I ran let's get into that I ran 5k every day let's mark the box count down to 366 Woo -wee. there we go look at that Whew. man actually gonna get there um, on the uh, mill this morning, I was listening to uh, the David Chang. Does he say? I think his book, yeah, his book, he's got David Chang, but I think it's the Dave Chang podcast. Anyway, um, I was listening to his podcast, and he had a chef on that we're talking about hot pots. And um, a couple years ago, my wife and I, we went to a restaurant in Newark, and um, for this specific reason, it was a hot pot place. And we're excited to give it a try and open-minded and here we go and this is great I can't wait to do this it was horrible I mean we ugh, we left there we did not feel good um, <laughs> one of those never again never ever ever again but um after listening to the podcast we totally screwed up I mean we we did everything wrong um, I, they made it sound so good and just to the extent of how bad we messed up the whole cooking process at this restaurant I oh, gotta go with somebody experience that that is undoubtedly the trick and we need to find <laughs> we're looking for a couple that knows how to hot pot and then let's let's go on a double date and let's hot pot together because whoo we, the way we did it, you would never want to do it again either. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, that, that was the Dave Chang Show. I decided to listen to that this morning. Typically, I save that for a Monday, but I, I just jumped right in today. Main thing I talk about is at BrentEvans.net. Um, on a Sunday, books on a Sunday. I'll keep this quick because I have a giveaway. Um, I am into uh, several new books, a couple here. Uh, the biography of Chris Cornell, Corbin Reef wrote this one. Um, <laughs> got these uh, tabs sticking on the outside. I, I've been reading this one in bed, and um, I, I didn't think I'd be marking up this book. And typically, what I do if I'm reading any of these books in bed, I'll just stick them coming out of the side so I can go back later and be like, oh, "What did I find that was so interesting?" And then I'll write on the tab and I'll put it at the very top of the page. That makes sense instead of the side I'll then have it come up here and I'll write down why like this for Chris Cornell I marked it because I learned that his favorite Beatle was John Lennon uh, I also found that he got hooked on the song Hey Jude so much he was excited to um, take it to a class and present and show it to his class uh, or have his class hear it but his teacher said no I am not gonna play that song for you really bummed him out but uh, Chris Cornell, learning more about him. And then the big boy book, William Manchester. This is volume one and volume two. There's actually three of these books. The Last Lion. It's about Winston Spencer Churchill. So into this. I'm undoubtedly going to read this. And I'm going to go away to some other books. I'm going to read volume whew, three. And I'm going to 
go read some other books. I'm gonna come back and do volume four. But this is a combo of volume one and two. Also, uh, I'm listening to Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey. Um, yeah, that one's, that one's great too. And uh, that's when I'm digging into my work on location and I can uh, put away a book in my ear. Okay, let's get into the giveaway. I know I'm babbling long today. Um, yeah, David Chang, one of my goats. Actually, you know what? I said I was going to do a top five goats. That's it. We're only doing four goats this year. I'm going to do an X. So we got, <laughs> that's a bad X. So we got Chase Jarvis. He's a goat. Tim Ferriss, he's another. Ryan Holiday, he's a goat. And David Chang, he's a goat. So they all got books. I'm going to give away books. One book right now. Uh, David Chang's book will be first up. Over the next two weeks, I'm going to get entries, hopefully from you guys. And uh, then on the 26th, that's a day after you know the ho-ho-ho guy comes, um, I'm going to draw one name and, yeah, give away a hardcover book of uh, David Chang's Eat a Peach. Because I think it's such a good book. It was so important in my life that I hope to get that out there. But, um, yeah, I'm going to basically, it's a spread the babble contest, okay? Spread the babble. What you got to do is, um, I'm not trying to make it too difficult. Um, there's, there's places that you can find me all over the place. Facebook, it's Morning Babble. Instagram, what is it? I'm a good morning talker. Uh, Twitter, it's uh, Brent Evans 11. Then, of course, there's BrentEvans.net. But um, for every tweet on Twitter, for every like on Instagram, and any share on Facebook, it's three entries that you can get every day. So whenever I pour, put up the babble, like it, retweet it, share it, get it out there, and entries are, are tallied up for you. There are two other ways as well. Um, if you've not signed up for the newsletter that you can do at BrentEvans.net, five entries for that. And if you have not gone to um, uh, YouTube and subscribed, you can get another five. Now I realize on, on YouTube you can subscribe and you can hide yourself, so you might have to post on, on yeah, YouTube. So I know that you're out there and I know that, hey Brent, I, I did subscribe and I'll give you another, another five entries. Hopefully all that makes sense. Basically, I just, help me out. Spread the battle, get it out there, and then I just wanna give away a book. David Chang's book on the 26th will do it, and that's that's a Sunday where I typically talk about books. Hmm, that was a long one. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully uh, you all followed along. <laughs> if not, I'll try and get some stuff up on the website, just updating it. I know all my contact information, that one card I just flashed with the, the, yeah, the Twitter, the Instagram, the Facebook, that's all on there. Um, Reach out. I'm here. I'm always here. Tomorrow's Monday. <clears throat> um, and I'll be here. So, in the meantime, make those good choices and make it a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Whoops. Sorry. Sorry. I totally forgot. When you arise in the morning, think of what a privilege it is to be alive, to think, to enjoy, to love. Marcus Aurelius. I've never done that before. I've never forgot the quote of the day. There it is. Wow, 346 days in. Quote of the day, do I do that? See you tomorrow.